coach trainer, Carl Hanford, gets the famous champion ready for his race in the Whitney. Champions always draw crowds in any sport. Kelso, saddled and ready, limbers up, and Hanford likes what he sees. This is Kelso, almost ready for his stakes win at Saratoga in 63, which helped him become Horse of the Year for the fourth time. United States Senator Jacob Javits gets a close-up in the paddock. The preliminaries are over as post-time draws near, and the jockey gets up for his ride. The pink-coated outriders are in charge of the field as it heads for the track. Saratoga's post parades for a century have come out from under the shade of the paddock trees to move past long rows of fans. There were eight starters in the $55,800 Whitney, of which $50,000 was added money. The horses are on the track for the Whitney. Number one is Robert L. Dotter's Guadalcanal, a steady campaigner trained by his owner with 112 pounds, two pounds over, and Pete Anderson up. Number two, the champ Kelso is carrying top weight 130 pounds with Bilo Valenzuela. Number three, Tri Cash, was a late scratch. Hobo Farms, Kilmoray, ridden by Johnny Ross, is number four, weighted at 112, also two pounds over. Next, number five, is Charles Softley's White Bro, 110 pounds and ridden by Elidoro Gustinus. Number six is Mrs. J. Beaver Alexander Sidam, second to Kelso in the Suburban, ridden by Bill Boland, weighted at 111 pounds. Number seven, Townsend B. Martin, Sunrise County, Bill Hartack up, beaten by a nose into Brooklyn, and next in the waist to Kelso, though only carrying 117. And finally, number eight, Harborview Farms Garwall, still seeking his first victory for 63, carrying 111 pounds and jockey Johnny Sellers. It is now post time. Go toward the flat turn with Kill 